We've got so many creations you would think it's a craft farm. Here's another bee design just for you, the Hello Kitty Bee Charm. The Hello Kitty Bee Charm is another simple creation that's quite pretty, resembles a cartoon character in its simplest form, you know, it's Hello Kitty. A craft design that's quite fine and easy to understand, this bee charm won't be any harm that'll fit in the palm of your hand. This project is great, of course, fast, fun, and easy to make. So let's get ready for this tutorial, satisfy your creative needs, feel free to give this video a like, enjoy this episode of Turbo Beats. Here's the list of everything you need to make the Hello Kitty Bee Charm. Before starting this project, I'm just letting you know that I'm using Omniflex 15 pound high string fishing line. It's a transparent string that works great with Pony Bee projects and other things. The string is nice and comes at a low price. With that being said, I'm just keeping you informed and letting you know that this is a personal choice, not a sponsored video. Making the Hello Kitty Bee Charm is pretty simple. The first thing you'll need is one foot of fishing line. Then you're going to add 10 white beads to that string. As you can see, I have the 10 white beads on the string. Once you have those beads on the string, you're going to move those beads toward one end of the string and tie both ends of the string together with a knot which will bring all those beads together. As those beads are coming together, you should be able to keep those beads in the shape of a pentagon. To ensure that those beads stay in the desired shape of the pentagon, what you can do is push every other bead toward the center and you'll see everything come to shape. Then from here, continue tying the string in the knot keeping all those beads locked into place. When tying your string together, be sure that your knot is tied nice and secure, ensuring that those beads stay locked into place and everything holds together. With this visual, you'll see that tying the string in the knot is as easy as it seems. Once your string is tied and those beads are locked into place, you should have a pentagon as you see it here. From here, we should have one short end of string, which we will save for later, and one long end of string, which we'll use to build onto this pentagon. From here, we're going to take this long end of string and we're going to run it through the next point of this pentagon. Continue watching as I guide the string through the speed, pulling that string all the way through, which will set us up for the next steps. As you can see, this is exactly how everything should look so far. Now we're ready to add beads, building onto this pentagon. From here, we're going to use that long end of string, as you see we have here. Then, we're going to add two black beads to that string. Now that we have those beads on the string, we're going to run that string through the next point of that pentagon as you see it here. Continue watching as I guide the string through this bead, pulling that string all the way through and those beads that were added will fit right into place. These two black beads will represent the whiskers as you see them here. Next, we'll continue using that long end of string and add a total of three beads on that string, starting with one red bead, a white bead, with another red bead on the end. This is how it should look so far. Now that we have those beads on the string, we're going to run that string to the next point of that pentagon. Continue watching as I guide the string to this bead, pulling that string all the way through until those beads that were added stack right into place. This is exactly how everything should look so far. This will represent Hello Kitty's ear with a bow on it. From here, we'll continue building onto this project using that long end of string. Go ahead and add a total of three white beads to that string. Once you have those beads on the string, Again, we're going to run that string to the next point of this pentagon. Continue watching as I guide the string through this bead, pulling that string all the way through until those beads stack right into place, creating the second ear, as you can see it here. Now that we've reached this point, we're going to go ahead and take that long end of string, and we're going to add two black beads to that string. Now that we have those black beads on the string, as we've done before, we're going to use that string and run it through the next point of that pentagon, as you see it here. Continue watching as I guide the string through this bead, pulling that string all the way through until those beads that were added will stack right into place, creating the whiskers as you see them here. Then finally, from here, we're going to use that same end of string and run that string through the next bead on the pentagon as you see it here. Continue watching as I guide the string through this bead. Once you get that string through that bead, and pull that string all the way through, this should put us back at the starting point with the other end of string. As you can see, we have both ends of string coming out of the same bead. From here, we can tie both ends of string together, locking all of those beads into place. 
When tying your string together, be sure that your knot is tied nice and secure, ensuring that all the beads stay locked into place and hold together. Once your knot is tied and all those beads are locked into place, all that is left is to carefully cut off the tied loose ends of string, and your beaded Hello Kitty charm is now complete. And there you have it. Another fast, fun bead design that looks fine that was fun to make. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful and you can create one just as great. If there's anything you would like to add, requests or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you're new or you just haven't already, don't forget that you can always subscribe if you want to be notified for more bead tutorials just like this one. Hoping you'll tune in for the next one to satisfy your creative needs. Until next time, as always, thanks for watching Turbo Beats.